Well hello folks and welcome to another video. So in this video I thought we'd have a bit of fun and experiment with the audio. So stay tuned and see what we get up to. So folks, good audio in your video is probably more important than the picture quality. And to be honest, most cameras and camcorders, compacts, etc. The built-in microphones are pretty poor and uh, give pretty poor audio quality. So, what do you do to get around that? Well, there's several things you can do. So you can, if you just excuse me from looking away from the camera guys, you can invest in something like this. This is a bit of a bit of a tangle of wire there, guys. So what we have here, this is a uh, an Audio Technica ATR33 lav mic, as you can see, guys, or dangly in front. There's a little control panel there, but as you can see, that's a bit of a, a jumble. But that's a good uh, start. Or let's strip over there. This is a little shotgun microphone. Now, this is a I don't know what you call that passive, but uh, it's not powered, so uh, that just chucks onto your hot show your camera and uh, connects into your microphone socket. So that's uh, one way of getting good audio or the other way is to have a wireless lav system like I've got set up at the minute so uh, I'll just uh, let you take a look at that So folks, that was the Rode wireless microphone system. So sat on top of the camera was the RX or receiver and uh, here we have the transmitter connected to a lavalier microphone. But what do you do if your camera hasn't actually got a microphone input? Well, there are options available out there and uh, one of the first things you could buy is uh, a, audio, a separate audio recorder something like the Zoom H1, or I think there's a new version out now, Zoom H1N, and that's basically a, a separate audio recorder, and the Zoom H1 seems to be the more popular one that's uh, used on YouTube. But uh, there's another option, guys. You might have that very close to where you are now, and that is to use one of these. So, smartphone. Doesn't matter what the brand is, or the make, or the operating system, as long as it's a smartphone. So this one, guys, is a very old Samsung Galaxy S4. So I think most smartphones have some form of uh, audio recording app built into them, or memo, audio recording, memo recording, voice recording, or something like that. Most of them got that. But if you take a look in your app store, whichever system you are actually using, there will be loads of uh, sort of voice recording uh, apps, some paid and some free. So what I've done, I've downloaded one called Tape to Talk, just because I like the sound of it. Um, some give you more control over others. So uh, what we're going to try now, guys, is I'm going to try a couple of experiments. And uh, what we're going to do is record the audio onto this and then sync it up in the software. Uh, I'm going to do it twice. I'm going to use the phone on its own, uh, holding it like a microphone. Then I'm going to plug in a uh, little lavalier microphone with it to use that. And uh, on the last part of the experiment, I'm actually going to try and clean the audio up in a program called Audacity. Uh, but let it be said, guys, I am absolutely not an expert on audio whatsoever. So uh, whatever I do is going to be very, very basic. So I'm going to probably try and normalize it and equalize it, I think. I don't think there's anything else you can do or anything I want to do. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try, guys. Um, but before we get into that, one thing that I will uh, say, say to you guys is that if you're going to try this, you have to make sure that whatever uh, editing software that you use will enable you to put a separate audio track. Because if you can't put a separate audio track, then unfortunately uh, you're um, stuck. But if you can put a separate audio track, then uh, you can do this. Now, for many, many years, I used Windows Movie Maker 2012, and that actually had an ability to put a separate audio track in, although you had to sync it up manually. The uh, software I use now, uh, you can actually set it up to uh, sync the audio automatically. Uh, so that's what we're going to try. And the other thing you'll need to do, guys, is uh, 
when you're recording your audio is uh, to do the obligatory clap and that puts a spike on the audio and a visual on the uh, video to give you uh, something to sync up and also help your editing software to sync up anyway guys enough of this waffle what I do now is uh, switch over to the uh, phone and try the audio with that so folks here we are we're now recording the audio on the Samsung Galaxy S4 using the take to talk app so uh, just bear with me folks I've got to keep uh, checking the phone because the uh, phone goes into sleep mode it actually stops recording but uh, we're now recording on the Samsung Galaxy S4 I'm going to turn it around and see if you can actually see on the screen I've, I've got to keep touching the screen to uh, here we go guys you see that but that's the audio recording as I said guys I've got to keep touching the screen because otherwise uh, if it goes into sleep mode it stops recording so what am I doing? I'm holding it a foot away from uh, the mouthpiece here my mouthpiece uh, I think the microphone is on the top there guys I believe so I hope it is but uh, anyway folks this is the audio out of the Samsung Galaxy S4 using the tape to talk app so uh, in tradition and keeping with the normal videos that I do when I'm doing audio are we ready Mary had a little lamb she also had a bear I've often seen her lamb but you've guessed it I've never seen her bear so there you go guys that's the end of the audio test with the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 so I hope uh, the microphone's in the top because if it isn't then I'm gonna look a bit of a fool aren't I so uh, what I do now guys I'm going to uh, stop recording and uh, I'm going to plug the lav mic into this uh, phone and we're going to try it with the lav mic so uh, just bear with us guys uh, we're going to swap it over so folks we're now using the little lav mic sat up here to record the audio so I don't need to look at that too much do I but uh, we're now using a lav mic to record the audio guys so uh, I think it'll probably sound a little bit better so this is not the best of the uh, little lav mics it's a relatively cheap one off of Amazon but it does the job so uh, hopefully we're going to pick up some audio let's have a look at the front of the phone again I'm going to try and turn the phone around guys so you can see it again I've got to keep holding the screen because uh, if it goes into sleep mode I don't know can you see that yep you can see it so that's the audio off of the uh, lav mic going by the little graph on the screen folks it doesn't seem as uh, high it's not peaking as high as the other one but uh, anyway guys so that's the uh, audio from the lav mic so again Mary had a little lamb its fleece was white as snow that fooled you didn't it and everywhere that Mary went the lamb was sure to go that was boring wasn't it we do the proper one Mary had a little lamb she also had a bear I've often seen a lamb but I've never seen a bear yeah I like that version anyway guys that's uh, the Samsung Galaxy S4 with the lav microphone so uh, there you go guys that's a little test uh, so what we do now is uh, swap back to uh, the normal setup and uh, say my goodbyes so to speak so uh, we'll get on with that guys catch you in a minute so folks there we are at the end of the test so uh, all it remains for me to do now is uh, go away and uh, sit in front of the computer and uh, edit this lot up and uh, I hope that uh, when I all get it together we're actually going to notice some difference between uh, the microphones and uh, using an external recorder or be it only just the phone but uh, hope we're going to get a little bit of difference especially if uh, I can uh, clean the audio up a bit in uh, audacity so uh, there you go just one thing at one point I've got to make guys is if you are going to buy a microphone for your smartphone make sure you get one of these guys I don't know how well you can see that on there but you need to have can I move away but you need to have four contacts on that four contacts guys this one is called a TRRS or tip ring ring sleeve now uh, that's the only sort that will work in your mobile phones uh, I think I'm not 100% sure but uh, I think it's only the, the one with the four contacts the tip ring ring sleeve if you buy a uh, microphone that's only the TRS or tip ring sleeve which is the normal ones that you've got in your microphones that uh, plug into your camera they won't work in the smartphone and vice versa uh, I know that because I've tried it so uh, just bear that in mind guys uh, if you do go out and buy yourself a microphone for your smartphone but anyway enough of this waffle 
we will uh, catch you on the next one guys so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you all again soon bye bye for now